LGBT equality is as much an American issue as it is a global issue. Over 70 countries worldwide still criminalize homosexuality. So here's the question. How can LGBT leadership effectively challenge these trends on an international level? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and joining me today is Tori Carter of the Victory Fund. Tori, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So what's fascinating is that here in 2014, there has been unbelievable change mm -hmm. uh, in the LGBTQ community in terms of marriage, in terms of adoption. I mean, you go on down the list, it really is a monumental thing to witness. Mm -hmm. However, as I mentioned a few moments ago, in some countries, it is still very much illegal to be gay. Why is that the case, and what can we do to challenge this? Well, you're right. There's still an enormous amount of transphobia uh, and homophobia internationally. We've made great strides here domestically, but there's a lot of work to be done, uh, both domestically and internationally. And at the Victory Institute, our work has been to train and prepare leaders uh, internationally to be participative in their, their governments. And we think that civic engagement and being more active in government in their, in their communities is the way to effectively change their community. You know, Tori, I'm sure in many countries there is a cultural element as mm -hmm. well as a religious uh, element. And y you have to be respectful of that, but you also have to challenge authority in order for things to kind of move forward. Right. How do you mitigate those very murky circumstances, if you will, when someone's religion is telling them one thing, but reality is something completely different? I think the way that we approach that is we encourage them to be their authentic selves. Because what we find is when people are authentic, about their personal lives that their communities and people who may have those uh, hesitancies or religious hesitancies uh, are more likely to be more trusting and open to them representing them in their government. You know, Tori, it's interesting. I remember watching in all uh, when Spain became mm -hmm. the first country, uh, you know, on the national stage, if you will, to legalize same-sex marriage. And as you know, and many viewers at home probably know this as well, uh, Spain is a very heavily Catholic uh, country. And I remember Spaniards at the time saying, it's all about the family and, and making sure that no matter who you love, uh, that you're recognized and celebrated for that. Is that really a common denominator, if you will, no matter what your culture is, no matter what your background is, is allowing the person uh, to express their love to whomever they, they choose? Absolutely, absolutely. And we find that you have many examples of that domestically, you know, when uh, representatives or to, whether it's Congress or at the local level, uh, are able to be themselves and their authentic selves and show their whole families, whether they have children or they're partnered, uh, married, uh, the, their, their community is sure. more likely to be more accepting of them. And you know, it's also just kind of breaking down those stereotypes where I'm sure a lot of people used to think uh, that being a member of the LGBT community, you know, you were different. Uh, you were born this way or this was a choice. Well, the reality is that you are born that way and, you know, it's no different from being left-handed or right-handed. This is who you are and being your authentic self. In terms of being a leader in the community, in terms of challenging some of these stereotypes, Tori, is there anything that our viewers at home should take away from this interview? Uh, is there anything that they should be doing in their communities to challenge the authority if, if they so see something that's being wronged? I think they should, they should step up and... Uh and, and, and volunteer to serve. Uh, public service is an incredible way to change our community and change people's hearts and minds. Uh, in fact, we're having a leadership conference uh, here in December in Washington, In Washington, D.C. Absolutely, where we'll bring together all sorts of leaders, uh, appointed officials, elected officials from all over the country, both our country and internationally, uh, to conference and network and talk about the different ways that we can actually do what you just mentioned. So it's having that conversation, having that dialogue, and thus in the process, breaking down some of the stereotypes uh, that are out there. Tori Carter, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank and you thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.